Hello, hello internet, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Tori and today I have my shop my stash for this month. In this bin right here, this is everything I used in the past month. So let's go through it. Right off the bat for lip glosses, I use the NYX Butter Gloss in Eclair and then the Fenty Gloss in Sweet Mouth. I really enjoyed both of these. Next, another unexpected favorite was the Lime Crime Lip Pops in Macaroon. I really enjoyed this a lot. I use the ColourPop Blush Stick in Mini Me. I've been really loving this shade of blush at the moment, so very happy I got to use that. I use the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. I used it a couple times this month. I'm still kind of unsure how I feel about this. It's not bad, but it's not, it's not the creme de la creme, you know, it's not the best. Next, I use the mini Kendo Vegan Beauty uh, Bow and Arrow, and then I use the Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick in Medusa. For eyeliners, I use the Essence Silky Nude. And then from ColourPop, I use Rosetti. I mean Rosetta. Ro wait, is it Rosetti or Rosetta? I can't remember, but I really enjoyed this. It's a rose gold. Next, I'll talk about the palettes. Sadly, I didn't use that many palettes this past month because when I pull in a palette, I try to use every single shade from it. So that didn't happen this past month. But I did get to use the Violet Lights palette from W7. I really enjoy this. This is not bad at all. I'm very happy I have it. And I use the ColourPop Five Star Island. Once again, not bad. I definitely hate this glitter formula because it's a, it's a different glitter formula for ColourPop, but I did enjoy it. I use the e.l.f. Sheer Tint Finishing Powder in Fair Light. A nice powder for the summer. Too Faced Snow Bunny Bronzer. I used this uh, Natasha Denona single in Zand. I used the About Face Fluid Eye Paint in Lost Unfound. I don't really know how I feel about this. It's not bad, but I definitely want to play with it more to make sure I like every single way of using it. Because this one for matte, you have to like work with it quickly because it dried down a little too fast for me. Next, I use this e.l.f. lipstick in Taffy, this Essence blush in Be Fitting, the About Face highlighter in Smother. I did, I did enjoy this. Urban Decay lipstick in 66. Loved it. Stila liquid eyeshadow in Burnished Sienna. Kylie highlighter in Cotton Candy Cream. Yeah. Copacetic Cosmetics Powder and Wisdom, and the Becca Hydrolite Lip Balm in Dew. So now everything I didn't get to use. Okay, so for the miscellaneous drawer, I still have um, ColourPop Super Shock left, Midas Cosmetics, Neon Purple Glitter, a e.l.f. liquid shadow, an e.l.f. putty blush. Really wanted to use it, but just didn't have any looks to pull this in where I really wanted to. And then I have two eyeliners, an LA Girl and a ColourPop to use. And then I have all these lip products left. Yeah, this past month was not a makeup month for me, therefore I didn't really touch a lot of these. So we got About Face, Huda, Brand Who Shall Not Be Named, Medusa's Cosmetics, Half Case, Half Caked, Pat McGrath, ColourPop, and LA Colors. And then up at the top here, I still have my palettes remaining. The Mini Love from Natasha Denona has not even been used yet. The ColourPop Thumper palette has two shades left to be used before it can roll out. Juvia's Place Mauves has four that have to be left, have left to be used. Um, I still have to use Maid Cafe. The Shroud Cosmetics and Beauty Bean It's Frickin' Bats has two more shades left to use before it can be rolled out. And then Riviera by EBH has like seven. So... Yeah, this is going to be a short and sweet uh, shot my stash because there's only going to be one palette to pull in. But I do have some face products I can pull in. So let's start shopping. Okay, so this is my current uh, new product drawer. I'm not pulling a new mascara. I did take an eyeliner out of here um, and I put that in my daily rotation. Well, kind of in my daily rotation. Um... 
trying to think. I am going to pull in this Jewel Up Contour Stick in Natural Bronze. I don't know. Never had a contour stick before. This should be interesting. Um, trying to think if I want to pull in both of these or just one. This is the Catrice concealer that's been in here for a while in the shade Fair Ivory. Um, and then this is the All Nighter concealer in Fair Neutral. I think I'm going to pull them both in. Yeah, that, I'm just going to do that. Going to do that. Um, powder. Do I want to pull a powder in? No. Not going to pull my face powders in yet. I will pull in the Becca Highlighter in Prismatic Amethyst. Very pretty. Pull that in. Do I want to pull in this, though? Yeah. Not yet. This is the Shade and Light Contour. This is, like, Lucid and Sombre, the fairest ones. I'm just going to keep them in here for uh, now. I'm trying to think. I want to start going outside more, but I don't want to pull one of these in if I'm not going to use them. So, I think I'm going to hold off on these foundations. They're both a little too dark for me at the moment. So, we're going to keep them in here. But, <clears throat> I am going to pull in this uh, Milani SPF BFF sunscreen primer. For palettes, I'm not going to pull one of my new palettes. Because I'm going to pull something that I will actually most likely reach for a lot. So those aren't going to get pulled in. For lip products. I'm going to pull in one of these glosses. These are the I Heart Revolution and Aristocats Marie and then Toulouse glosses. If you don't know, I really love the Aristocats movie. One of my favorite movies growing up. Um, clearly an animal lover. I'm trying to think, which one did I use? Because I used one of them. Did I use Toulouse? I'm trying to see if I could tell by the wand which one I used. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so the one I used was Toulouse, so I'm just going to pull that one back in and keep Marie in. I'm not going to pull in a liquid lipstick from here. Um, it's pretty much everything for this short. I was debating pulling in the Urban Decay Eye Primer, but I still think the eye primer... I'm using can probably last another month, so nothing from here yet. Okay, so now I'm gonna pull in stuff from my, you know, normal lip product drawer. I don't have many to pull, but I am gonna pull some. I am gonna pull in the Kendo Vegan Beauty dagger because I kind of forget it sometimes because I put it with my glosses because it's too tall to go in here. And then first up to bat to go is this Pharm Pharmacy Cosmetics 103. I believe this is from MLM. I don't support MLMs, but if you do, go you. It does look like it's separating already. Kind of weird. I'm going to figure that one out. I do want to pull in glosses. I'm in a very much gloss mood. So, first up the bat, Wet Cherry Gloss from Lime Crime and Extra Popping. I don't want to pull this one yet. This is I Heart Revolution's Chocolate. We're going to keep that one for a little bit. This is from Yassi Lashes. I think this is Kawaii. I don't know if she currently sells this shade anymore, but I'm going to pull this in. I'm going to pull in all of mine from Gail Beauty because I think, I know she was rebranding, so I don't know if any of these are still available. I don't know at this moment of filming what um, they have decided to do with these, but as of this moment, this is soft. This is cozy, and I think this is army. Um... So I'm going to pull these in. And then I'm just going to pull in one bullet lipstick. First up to that is Sophia Nygaard's Screamer. And honestly, I'm just going to pull it. If I don't wear it, it's whatever. But I'm just going to pull it anyway. Since I tend to like pulling what I used. Uh, you know, this is what I used last. This is what I used a um, long time ago. Ready to be pulled. That doesn't make sense. But yeah, that's what I'm going to pick from this drawer. Okay, for my face product drawer, I'm going to pull in the Rimmel Maxi Blush in third base. And I think that's it for powder blushes. 
think I will pull in Becca Opal. But I think that's honestly it for highlight. I really need to hit some goals in projects this next month. So I'm not going to pull in any more highlighters or bronzers. And then from this drawer, this is stuff for projects. We're just ignoring that. I technically should pull in this e.l.f. beauty shield. You know what? I'll pull it in. Because um, last time I didn't like it. So let's see if I still don't like it or what, you know? I don't need to pull in a concealer. I am going to pull in the CoverGirl Clean because this will most likely get pulled in the shop my stash for like a week and then get pulled straight into my daily rotation. So, going to do that. I want to pull in this um, because I hid it in the back and kind of forgot about it. So, this is the Bounce Foundation in the shade 1.10 N, I'm guessing, which means neutral. I have two of these because I got this one from Influencer. Really enjoyed it. Found it on sales at uh, Marshalls or TJ Maxx. So, I'm going to use this. Reward myself for all the bad foundation products I've been using recently. And by bad foundation products, I mean my pan that palette stuff. Like my project pan stuff. Except for this drawer. So, the palette I'm going to pick is the Ace Beauté Grandiose palette. I'm in a neutral mood. And this is just a pretty, pretty neutral palette. So... This is the only palette I'm gonna pull in, but I am going to pull in, I am gonna pull in some singles. So, from this drawer, so I am gonna pull in my ColourPop uh, Jelly Mud Shadow and She Grown. I heard someone say that theirs that were new are already like um, drying out, so that's scary for me. So I'm gonna pull this in. I kinda wanna pull an eyeliner, but also don't, so I don't think I am. I'm not going to pull in a pigment. Actually, I'll pull in the gold pigment from Wet n Wild. I am going to pull in another palette. I'm going to pull in this Shop Miss A palette that's just ColourPop glitters that I took out of palettes. Um, yeah, I'm close to hitting pan on like this shade. So I figured, you know what? Why not? So let me put everything away now. So this is what my top of my vanity looks like. These could not fit, so they're staying at the side. The new palette is up here. The lip drawer is packed, but honestly, I've been really reaching towards glosses, so those will definitely be used uh, by next month. And then once again, this drawer is packed, but there's a lot of different stuff in here that I will actually reach for, so. I'm very content with that. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video or videos like these, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and all that jazz. And peace out, Girl Scout.